I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if you saw my video and I don't want to spoil it if you haven't, but like the M for me, it's kind of similar to last year. Like as far as like the feature set, it's more cosmetic changes. It, it's kind of mm -hmm. like when, when Ford comes out with like a, a new Mustang and then the next year isn't really a drastic difference. It's kind of the same thing, but it's, it's like, there's like, they go years before there's significant product updates again with, with the iterational design of the M we're kind of getting in that, in that stage where you might be stuck on the 2019 as your favorite for a while. If that's really, you know, your, your subjective opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm with you on that. I, I didn't notice much performance difference, but a lot of cosmetic that I think really works. Like not just yesterday, I lined them all up on, on, on the planet of the vapes live stream and just kind of went through the iterations and I hadn't even done it. I hadn't rehearsed it. I just said, let's just check it out. And it was really cool just seeing the progression all the way from the very smooth, very first M all the way up to now where you've got not just like not just tactile feel, but an hourglass shape that really your fingers just kind of gravitate towards in the right place to spin it when you're using a torch. It's awesome. I initially didn't really have much love for the M and it's, it's tough for me to say that because, you know, Dynav I love Dynavap and Dynavap's a sponsor of our show, but they, 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 they've been setting the bar for themselves, you know, like every year, every year I expect to be a little disappointed or a little bit like, ah, it's kind of similar to the last year or it's whatever. Mm -hmm. And every year George is like, you know, showing us something new and it's like, whoa. And and this is the first time with the M where it's like, oh, okay, this is like, this is really nice. But I, I didn't, I didn't get like that, that huge wow factor, but the wow factor came from the full, the full lineup. You know, and, and there is wow factor in the individual lineups, like with the Vong and the Omni and even, even the M like holding it now, uh, I think, I think it, it brings the M back to a simpler M perhaps one where the, the major innovations really did happen. Like the, the 2019, you know, where we got like the, the rocker feel and mm -hmm. that really shaped up like the, the, how you, how you feel and find the airport, but the, the textile feedback, like, or the, the texture stuff, like closer to the tip, this is simple and it's probably the simplest and also most effective. Like when mm -hmm. I feel it compared to the other ones, there's a very different feel between the airport area yep. and the grippy area. And on the 2019, it's not a very distinct mm -hmm. difference. Like you got to rock it around. Like if you're not mm -hmm. holding it in the right spot, you got to, you got to rock it around to find the rocker. But on, on this one is you, you can very, very clearly feel that, Oh, I'm up in the, the rough divot zone by the, by the tip, or this is the, the shallow divot zone, the little smooth yet grippy. I don't know how this shit works, but. No, I totally agree with you, man. I want to, I want to show some of this off here actually, because, uh, there really is just a ton of tactile difference. This is the first year that I can actually pick it up and feel where the, the cat, the carb is right there. I mean, you've got the little rocker right there opposite the carb. And this is the first time that I can actually pick it up and go, Oh yeah, there I am right there. That actually works. And well, then while you got it up, let's, let's take a quick tour of the DM. Let's, let's start at the, the mouthpiece. Something else I really like uh, in the actual tip. Um, all of the, the tips have this bowl to them and it's amazing. Like what I really like about it is the captive cap works flawlessly for me now, no matter which cap or which one I use. When I got the captive cap last year, literally first time I used it, it popped right off. Those little dimples catch on the very, the very bottom here. But now that they have these little ridges, it catches on every one. And so I've never had it pop off. It'll, it'll wiggle a little, but it never pops off anymore. And, and I, but it, but you don't ever feel like it's stuck and you're not going to get it off. So I'm really excited about this, the, the hourglass here that I mentioned, that little shape. I mean, I, I usually just pick it up and, and twist it right there in that hourglass. So I, I think tactile visibly, this is it. I really hope that they're able to, to, uh, you know, kind of stick with this one for a while. Like I'd, I'd be happy to see this one last a few years and not necessarily get replaced. It's pretty good. Well, while we have your nice camera up, do you mind pulling out the 2020 and the 2019? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bet. Uh, let's see. We got the, 
2020 around here. And while you line those up, I'm going to play this Easter egg clip from George. Sweet. So George, I got a question for you, man. <clears throat> What's that? I love uh, every time you release a vape, uh, I love using it, testing it, figuring it out, but mostly I love your Easter eggs. And I love how you're always planting numbers in there. And so for me, it's fun to go look. And I absolutely adored what I found in this year's products. But I'm interested in, in for you, is there one or two of your vapes that from a numerology Easter egg perspective that you like the most or appreciate the most or any particular singular e Easter eggs that you that just, you know what I mean? Any of that stuff mean more to you or special or? Well, what I can tell you is that uh, on this year's M, for example, right? Without a doubt in my mind, this is the best M we've ever made. None of the other ones even come close, right? And I'm not talking about that from just a, a pure performance or extraction perspective, because the difference between this one and last year's and the one before that, they're all going to extract on a comparable level in terms of heat up and overall extraction, extraction efficiency. But the, at the same time, when I think about ease of use, overall appearance, and the tactile navigation, this one's it, right? It, it's got really nice appearance. It's got really nice lines. It tends to be much, much easier to feel every single feature, like this grip here. Uh, your fingers just want to stay on the grip because it's got a, kind of an hourglass shape to it. It's also really nice to, if you just take your thumb and you just kind of rub your thumb down the length on this grip, it's got a whole lot of feel to it. So you can definitely know where it's at. It's the grippiest grip that we have. The, the way that the rocker integrates, the way that you can feel the airports, I really like it. And so talking about numerology, etc., the number to keep in mind when visually, visually dissecting the M is seven. There's seven in quite a few locations in this device. Every, every time I get a vape from you, uh, I look at, uh, I look for threes, fives, sevens, nines, twelves, anything that stands out. Sometimes it's three, six, nine, but I'm always looking for that shit. You know, I, 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 lo I look for the way you always like try to get the, the light to kind of roll up and down if you get it just right. And I love looking for those things. So yeah, man, when I started looking for this, I was like, oh, seven, 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 seven. And it just kept going. I'm like, this thing is awesome, man. <laughs> I love it. So here's the 18. And you can see that, you know, we've got a little uh, ridge for your finger right where the cap is and the first rocker, but it's not as pronounced. So this, is the, this is the first rocker, right? The, the previous um, one had, like a, had a little dip, had like a line. 17 had, this, and the one previous had this little line and then a cap with a little marker, but nothing on the backside. So yeah, this was the first rocker, so to speak. Um, to help, yeah, so to help let's, really let's look at the it. progression of the rocker and the progression of the the airport. All right, you bet. So there's the airport right there, and the rocker, and it's just two little wings down there. And then, by the way, there were there were nine. By the way, that was the night 2019 that you were showing. So this is the 19 first rocker. There was a nine in here. There's a nine in here, and then on the um, on the 20. The airport changes to the chiral from just the circle. And then on the back side, you've got an M here now as your tactile feel. Still not super duper sticky outy. It's got a, you know, that that one I had I personally had a hard time finding the M on occasion. It, it was good. It was better than this one, but nothing quite like this 21, where now you have the actual M-shaped chiral. And then a big honk and rocker back here. That's easy yeah. So, yeah, that's the progression of the three. Um, the, the tips also. The 19 had the the sharp M. The 20 had the um, the digital M as it rolled around there. And then now we're at this crowny hammered crown one. So, little differences on the. Uh, on the necks as well. They've been playing with the necks and stuff on these a long time. Yeah, I think I think that these three right here show the like the the biggest like final refinement in in the Dynavap mm -hmm. M lineup. Like those are the big changes. Those are the ones that set the 2021. Like those are the ones that that came together and formed 
what the 2021 is. Do you have the the previous ones? If not, I, I have them here. Yeah, the 1817 Sam Blasted. So like here's the, the 18 here. And in this one, this is the first time we had any tactile anything, just little little ridges. And then the uh like I said, the little marker there, but then just a nothing on the back side. So the first attempt at a marker was right right there only. And then the very first one, oh by the way, this had the spiral. The spiral um, tip. Yeah, and then this one had a spiral but only one cut. And then on the original one, you can see they had that little marker too, but it was it was just all smaller. They were trying they were making it bigger and deeper and shit. Let me compare these ports right here. There we go. Those ports are pretty similar, a little different. So yeah, the big changes came in what, 19, 20, and now 21. Yeah, I think I think 19, 20. 21 was just like the the bundling and refinement of uh of those changes. Yeah, man. I'm so happy that I that I was able to score an original M other than my abuse one. Like, cause I, when I first bought the M, I took pictures with it and then used the shit out of it. Yeah. And then like it progressed and I was like, oh crap, I should have had one to like keep around for new, you know, to, to have in a, as a collection. And then I was able to pick one up like when Puff It Up did a, a closeout. I'm like, hey, look, we got a bunch of old stuff or whatever. Dude, that's awesome. I love it when you catch things like that. That's the way yeah. to go, baby. So do you have a favorite M, Jerry? I definitely like the new one the best. I've liked every new one the best. I like the 19. I fell in love with them on the 19. That's when I really fell in love. I thought, geez, there's some magic in this thing. The 20 followed it up, same, 21, same. And, and since the body on the 21 is so much more conducive to how I feel, it works great, I love it.